school jazz combo. My name is Meredith Foreman, and I am one of the adjudicators for this year's National Jazz Festival 2023. I'm here to give you guys a few more comments to go in conjunction with the electronic copies that you've already received. So let's get started. First, there will never be another you. I'd say nice job playing through all of the chord changes. One thing to maybe consider uh, for a drummer is you want to think of the crash symbol as a way to change the color from soloist to soloist and even from section to section. And so you can hit it harder or softer depending on the type of impact that you want. Now, I'm sure you are aware of this. It's just I didn't see you use the crash symbol um, nearly enough, especially going from soloist to soloist. You want to give it a new flavor, a new color. Okay, let's see, for the rest of the band, try to add more dynamics throughout the tune. Um, I like when the rhythm section dropped out um, right before one of the soloists, and that was a great, great way to change the color or the sound and the, the, the dynamics um, instantly, right? So you did that once, but then I didn't really hear anything else, uh, whether it was just immediately playing softer and growing or whether it was dynamically coming down or whether it was an immediate drop after a soloist where we build it up and then everybody just comes down, but still cooking, still playing, but just drops. So figure out ways to make the music more exciting just simply by adding dynamics and you guys will take this tune to another place. Next was Sunflowers. I love the feel and the mood at the start of this tune. Totally different sound, it was a great choice. Um, make sure the groove has continuous forward momentum the entire time, especially because this is a tune where the groove is pretty much consistent the whole time. It really doesn't do much and it doesn't leave room for much deviation. You want to just make sure that you're always fo rolling forward or having the feeling that the tune is rolling forward. Not rushing, just feeling like it's on top of the groove, on top of the beat. All right. Um, I wonder if there's a way to build this tune dynamically during each solo, um, even like within the solo. Is there a way to, to elevate it, whether it's with dynamics or just adding a couple more ghost notes here or there? Um, I noticed at one point um, during this tune, you did change the groove a little bit. You started adding more Tom stuff. I wonder if you can do that a little bit sooner, like during the solos, right? Experiment with it. See where it goes. Everyone certainly did have um, command of the chord changes and the style of this tune. So that's definitely a plus for everyone here. We're just thinking of ways to maybe elevate it, bring it to the next level. Otherwise, you guys nailed it. It was great. Um, and then lastly, we had a tune called Night Out. Nice energy and execution on the head, for sure. Um, make sure the bass and drums continue to lock in, especially if the drummer is playing four on the floor. It sounds like there are times where the bass drum was definitely hitting that way. So you just wanna make sure that you guys are locking in together um, that bass drum with the quarter note of the, of the double bass, okay? Um, that's gonna just help the groove just feel better and flow better, always, all right? I know a lot of drummers who don't even use four on the floor, they don't even play it that way. They just give that space to the bass um, in general. But of course, if you're gonna do it, make sure that it's definitely locked in perfectly all the time. And then let's see, uh, sometimes I noticed this, and I noticed this throughout the set, but in this tune uh, particularly, sometimes the guitar gets lost in the sound spectrum. I'm not sure if it's because of the, the space that you're in or if the guitar was just too soft or if the guitar is constantly playing at the same time as the, uh, as the keyboard player so just continue to look for spaces where you can fill in um, to, you know, to, to contribute a little bit more prominently um, to the sound of the ensemble. Um, other than that, I'd like to congratulate you guys on a fantastic performance. I loved hearing all of you. I loved all of the different styles between each player and how it all came together um, to give this wonderful performance. I hope you guys stay together for many years and continue to grow and play together. And I wish you the best of luck in the future. Hope to see you guys again. Take care.